Okay, what you're trying to do in this question is you're trying to find the distance across the river. So it's this side that you want to find. So we'll make this x. Because we've got the angle here, that means I'm looking from this perspective. So I've got to draw a guy here, and he's looking across. So this would make this your O. This is your right angle, so this is your H. And the leftover is your A. So it means that we're trying to find this missing side, so I have to use the O, and I have to use one piece of information I know, so I'm using that side or A. I don't use H because nothing's written there and it's not important to me. So that means if I use the formula tan of the angle equals O over A, or TOA, if I plug everything in, I get tan of 45 equals O, and in this case O is X, the A is 120, and then I try to solve for the missing side, which I'm trying to find is X. Now the weird thing is when you put 1045 in your calculator, you actually get the number 1, so it's not a mistake. The 10 of 45 is 1, and the other side is just still X over um, 120. So to get X by itself, you just bring the 120 up, and it would be 1 times 120 equals X. So you actually get the same answer. So this side is actually also 120. Um, I know it seems weird, but 1045, um, the reason why this is, is the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So if that's 90 and that's 45, it means this angle is also 45. And because both the bottom angles are the same here, it means both sides have to be the same.